Hey kids, it's Lamena. Welcome to a very special episode of Science from My Sofa, because it features my very best friend, my cat Sebring. I know he has other friends that aren't just me, like he hangs out with a stray outside. It's a nice orange and white guy, but I think they're more frenemies because sometimes they hang out and they're chill with each other and sometimes they beat the fluff out of each other. Now that cat is pretty important for our discussion tonight because there's something weird about him. He has a lot of extra toes to the point where my sons and I have taken to calling him Beans which is short for Lord of the Beans. He has a lot of toes. Sebring has very handsome feet, but he has just the standard number of cat digits, which is the same as humans, which is five. Beans, like many cats and even some humans, was born with a condition called polydactyly. Poly meaning many, and the Greek word dactyla for fingers. So Beans has what's called supernumerary digits supernumerary, meaning more than the standard number of them. In cats, as in people, polydactyly is often caused by a dominant gene mutation. You get two copies for every gene that you have, one from mom, one from dad, and the same thing goes for cats. Different versions of genes called alleles can affect the traits in different ways. A dominant allele is one that's more likely to be shown over a recessive allele, which is more likely to be hidden. Polydactyly is dominant, which means you only need one of these alleles to show that trait. So if a cat inherits an allele for polydactyly, they would have extra toes either on their hind feet or on their front or sometimes both. The same thing goes for some polydactyly in humans. All it takes is one copy and that person would have extra fingers or extra toes. So why don't we see extra digits more often? Because dominance is not the only thing at work here. Just because a gene is dominant doesn't mean it's always frequent in the population. Genetic frequency refers to how often an allele shows up within a particular group of cats or people, etc. And it's not necessarily related fully to dominance. For example, blue eyes is recessive, but a large number of people have that. Same thing with red hair. Regardless of the number, I think cat toes are pretty cute. You guys have a good night. Take care. Remember, if there's anything else you guys are curious about, drop me a line.